Well, we're down to the last guy that's going to speak to us. Make a guy welcome, Wendy Bagwell. How about it? But I'm proud to be here to honor a legend, a real legend, an Iron Man. Really, a lot's been said about what he's gone through and his health and this and that. And if I could be a little serious kind of to begin with, let me just say that he overcame a bout with, with his heart, with heart disease that a lot of people couldn't get over. His recent bout with AIDS, he's come through. <laughs> a, lot, a lot's been said about the fact that he's been married to the same woman for 44 years. And, you know, I think, I think that's, a, that's a, a great credit to the man. That tells a lot about the man. However, I know four or five women he should have had to marry, but the fact that... <laughs> he was smart enough, this legend, and of course I'm talking about J.B. Summers. Sumner. He sat down, that was going to be my funny line until you destroyed it. That's what happens when you bring these worldly country singers into a second. <laughs> this man, this man was smart enough to sit down with three more legends in our business and form one of the most viable gospel groups that ever hit the road. He sat down with Hobie Listener, <laughs> James Blackman, and Jack Ass Hass. <laughs> <laughs> Let me also say after hearing from all these people that put new input into the man that if J.D. Sumner don't go to hell none of us will make it. And the saddest part of it all, after hearing from His Holiness, I think he's taking James with him. So i like to end my little stand here just before I make the fastest rush to the bathroom you have ever seen. I like to finish my little speech with a poem. Would you shut up till I read the poem? <laughs> this is the JD. When it seems your work is all in vain and rewards are very few, remember that the mighty oak was once a nut like you. And when you're feeling down and out, and the bottom is all you see, just look around and find a friend. But don't look around for me. Okay. <laughs>